हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम विक्रम फ्रॉम इजी ऑन टेक्नोलॉजीज वेलकम टू माय स्प्रिंग फ्रेमवर्क प्रोजेक्ट वर्क सीरीज इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो सेशन आई डिस्कस्ड अबाउट हाउ टू क्रिएट अ बिजनेस लॉजिक फॉर कॉन्टैक्ट सर्विस एंड वी हैव डन वी हैव डेवलप्ड ओनली इंटरफेस एंड इन दिस वीडियो सेशन आई विल टॉक अबाउट हाउ टू इम्प्लीमेंट दैट इंटरफेस टू डेवलप ऑल दी कॉन्टैक्ट रिलेटेड बिजनेस ऑपरेशन सो लेट्स हैव ए लुक एट दिस so this is my contact service and these are the operations we have added in my previous video and here i am going to implement now so let's have a look at this implementation class just create one class here and this is my contact service implementation you can create here separate package also but as i have uh, only two services i can keep interfaces and implementation side by side here so this is enough now look at this this is my implementation for the contact service so this is implement contact service here and uh, i may require the advantage i may need to use the uh database support using this base dao because this base dao has support for the database operations using jdbc template and named parameter jdbc template so both the supports i can get from this class and now implement all the methods right so this is the code generated here some skeleton code is generated and now to make it service you have to write here this service annotation this is a good practice service annotation is done here now you can uh, write this save operation how to save this contact but one important thing i can say here if you have already developed the operation to save contact in your dao dao class you can reuse that here so we have we can inject here this is contact dao because contact dao already has developed many operations related to the contact service so you can reuse the operations so let me auto wire this dependency this is auto wired or you can use inject so this is the dependency i am going to inject here because this uh contact dao methods can be reused here so let me call a method here no need to redevelop the same code again and again if it is already there try to reuse maximum so this is save contact so service is representing business logic which is handling the task with the help of this dao so you can say that dao is a kind of helper in the business logic right so this is the save operation and it will work no problem i'm not going to test this because already i have tested my dao so i'm sure that will work but if you required you can test at your level i already shown you how to test the services in my previous video videos now do the update operation here in fact update can be done here through the dao so reuse that so contact dao dot update this will work no problem and you can do the delete operation do we have operation for deletion in dao check this contact dao dot delete by id okay so you can call this method right so you can delete by single values and uh, this is for multiple value deletion so here i can use a logic to delete so this time you have multiple values here and the multiple values or multiple contact ids are given as a uh, array so you have to do the deletion so how you can do that we can write a simple logic here to delete multiple values i am going to create a query here so this time i need to customize because i do not have any operation in dao which can delete bulk of contacts so i can create a query here <coughs> delete from contact where contact id in right and here i am going to pass all the ids which will be deleted so do one thing just hold here i am going to create one helper method here to convert this array into 
comma separated string because here I'm going to pass multiple IDs comma separated so this is your array and this array values will be converted into comma separated so for this I'm going to create one helper class in the utility so I'm using here utility package so this is my utility class so let me call this as a string utility you are doing here string related operations R I N G it's a string utility so I'm going to create this class and I'm going to provide a method here which is my static method because I'm not going to uh, create the object for calling any of the methods in this class so I just want to make it static and call all the methods directly without creating the object so I will require here string as output and uh, to let me call this to string and this is comma separated string to comma separated string from any array so let's assume it is your object array this is items so all these items will be comma separated so I can write a simple logic here a string builder sb equals to new string builder and uh, let me write a simple logic here loop one by one items will be received here and I'm going to add all the items in dot append and this item will be added here right after that I'm going to add one comma here so this is comma is also added right and now here this is this small logic so all the items will be added here and you will get one comma at the uh, after the last item so I'm, I have to remove that because I don't require that we, we never put comma after the last element so just do one small logic here sb dot size you can get here its length if its length is greater than zero means some item is added in the string builder I'm going to remove the last comma last character so this is delete character from the end so length will be sb dot length and minus one the last character will be length minus one and then return this string builder in string form right so this is the method I'm going to use so let me describe this this class contains utility methods related to string operations so I'm going to reuse if you have ready-made libraries in your project in your technology you can reuse that but it is, if it is not available we can develop like this so now I'm going to call this method here so this your all IDs comma separated IDs will be given here using that string utility so this is my class string utility dot two comma separated string okay and pass all the IDs and this ID I can concat here look at this okay right so this is your complete query so delete contact uh, delete from contact where contact ID in this criteria okay now get the JDBC template from the parent class and do the update and pass here and this is a single query can do this job just do this not required okay so this will do the bulk deletion I'm sure this will work I'm not going to test here but uh, we can do it 
uh, in the side by side project execution so this will be tested when I'm developing the actual code actual GUI so if anything goes wrong I will come back here and correct this probably it is correct and I'm not going to test here because I have already discussed about how to test the small small pieces you can do it at your level okay and I al also discussed the testing part in previous user service implementation right now this is find user contacts so I have to get all the user contacts here using this ID so is there any operation can be used or can be reused from DAO so let's see this is my contact DAO and do we have any method which will provide me all the records for given property user ID I can use this find by property so this is your property name so user ID will be the property return all the records for this user ID and the value will be input user ID great so this will be the user ID column and this is the value so return all the contacts for this user ID column and return this whatever the values written by this find by property method will be returned back so this is find user contacts great and now one more operation I can use here find user contact using the given criteria so is there any method which can provide uh, which can do the free text searching using these two inputs no we do not have such methods so I can write the code for that so let me copy some code from previous methods go to the implementation I'm going to reuse these two lines just a moment so this is my query so select contact ID user ID name phone email address from contact right now where this is contact ID no contact ID where user ID will be where user ID will be the user ID user can pass here and here I'm going to use this is compulsory to search for the logged in user and here we have some or operations because I'm going to do the free text search using pattern matching query so and where name like this is the name column I'm going to test here where name like and uh, right here single quote percent percent and this is concat here this is text match this text so this will be done now name like this one and here or operation or if name if the text is matched in name we want we want that if the text is matched for address we required or it can be matched in phone number and uh, you can check here or this can be matched in email address or this can be matched with the address name name phone email address address I think we have one more remark column here remark column is there so anything else missing here so ID not required name phone email address remark right we have done here search search we have done the searching logic for all the fields all the columns name address phone number is there email address is there remark is there right one important thing you can check here so here we am I'm using here inside the parenthesis or operations because this text can be matched for name or it can be matched for address right and similar to the other fields but it is compulsory to uh, match this character for this user because I, I cannot search the data from the other contact other user account 
so we have to search for a specific user account and now let me pass the value for that question mark I can get here a method this is your user ID right so this user ID will be bind with this question mark and rest of the values I have already provided so probably this will work I hope everything is fine here we will integrate this with the GUI layer and if I get any problem I will come back and debug and sort out the problems so I hope I have completed all the methods so this is enough for this video discussion right but one important thing I forget here I have not tested in this uh, I have not tested this implementation I'm sure it is working fine and you can test at your level because I told you the way how to test it and now it's your duty to test it right so this is enough for this video if you have any query any problem regarding the service implementation you can ask your query in comment and if you have not subscribed my channel till now please subscribe for getting more updates from my channel and thank you very much for watching see you in next video